Okay, ladies, um, we're going to do what we did yesterday, but we're going to apply some algebra to it. Now, instead of hours, you're going to put months, so, okay? Because these numbers are big. Nobody makes $300 per hour. Well, unless you're a millionaire. William has $500. He's making $300 per month. Jim has $100. He, that should say, is making $320 per month. How many months will the two people have the same amount of money? So you're going to make two tables like yesterday, but give yourself some room up here, okay? Make your two tables like yesterday. Now instead of hours, dollars, you're going to put months and dollars. And we're just going to go from zero to one to two, okay? And then make a bunch of dots because it goes on, okay? But we're just going to stop at two. So William had $500, okay? Jim had $100. Every time William works one month, he adds $300. Every time Jimmy here works a month, he adds $320. So I take $500 plus $300. That's $800. We go to this guy, we take one, go slow so you don't not punch in something, right? 420. So obviously this guy still has a lot more, okay? Then we add 300 again. So I take 800 plus 300, be 1100. And this dude here, we add 320 to his. Okay, 740. Now the reason I want you to stop is because this is going to take forever, okay? So you're going to make two lines, okay? Set them right equal, okay? You're not going to put anything up at the top. You know how on that one problem you're putting what you wanted to end at? See, we don't know what we want to end at, so don't put nothing there, okay? Okay, so this guy started with 500. Let's write a graph for the first table. Plus... And we're adding 300, but it won't be times H, it will be times M, okay? Now, don't put anything at the top, though. This dude here, he started with 100, and then I added 320 times M. Now, how are you going to write that? Well, here's what you're going to do, okay? You're going to go down here and put an equals. On one side of the equals, you write 500 plus 300 dot M. Okay? The other guy, you write 100 plus 320 dot M. You write that on the other side. Never mind, scratch that out. Scratch that out. Okay, don't don't erase it. Erase it if you can. I wrote those wrong. Okay, I forgot how I taught you this. Okay, scratch that. Remember, I told you put the plus, but put the dot down first. Okay, then put the 500. Then, same with this one, you put the 320 dot M first. And then plus your 100. Now, number one, I've set up the steps, both sides. So, let's mark this 320 times M, okay? Mark him. We need to get rid of that, okay? Put a plus in front of it, okay? And you're going to minus 320M, okay? Okay? So minus 320M, and then go find your M here, and minus 320M from there. So I take 300 minus 320. I got negative 20. So you got negative 20 times M plus the 500 equals, and then just put 100. Now you're where you want to be. So you get rid of the plus 500 with minus 500. And then you get rid of the times negative 20 dividing by negative 20. So you minus 500. And 
didn't give you a lot of room because I messed that up. So you got negative 20 times m, and then 100 minus 500 is negative 400. Now, when you divide, you need to make sure you are putting negative 20 underneath. Okay, don't just put 20, it's negative 20. So on my calculator, I go negative 400 divided by negative 20. Okay, just like that. I got 20, okay? So your answer, M equals 20, and the label is months. So that would have taken forever. I'd have, I would have had to get to 20 months before they would have been the same. Okay, example two. I'm, the other two are just like it. Becca has $500, she earns $50 per month. Sarah has $100, she earns $150 per month. Drowning months, will they have equal amounts of money? So let's set up the two tables. So it's months and money today, not hours, okay? Months and money. So zero, one, two, and it goes on, but I'm gonna cut it off at two. Okay, so Becca has $500 to start. Sarah has $100 to start. Then, with Becca, I add $50 every time I work a month. And Sarah, I add $150 every time she works a month. So I take $500 plus $50. $550. One hundred plus one hundred and fifty. Two hundred and fifty. Are they the same? No. That's not the point today. Okay. Then I add fifty and I add one fifty. Now if by chance they're the same after two months we have our answer. They're not gonna be six hundred. So 250 plus 150 is 400. So obviously I have not got them to be the same. So we're going to write an equation down here. So make two lines. Don't put what don't put equals at the top. Okay. So started with 500. We're adding 50 times m. Dot m. 50. That's a 50 there. Okay. That's a 50. Then 100 plus 150 times M. So you want to find out when these are equal. So on one side, you put 50 dot M, put a plus sign, you put, put your 50 dot M first, and then your 500. On the other side, put your 150 dot M first, and then 100. Okay, you got both sides. So mark your M here, put a plus in front of it, and you need to get rid of that. So you get rid of it by minus 150 M. Okay, you don't need to put the dot over here, just put it together. So I'm minusing 150 M. So minus 150 M gets rid of it, and then I go minus 150 M over there. So I take 50 minus 150, and I get negative 100. plus 500 equals, just put 100. Okay, now you're on to the step, second two steps, okay? So you get rid of your plus 500 by minus 500. And then you're going to divide by negative 100. Got to be by negative. So I minus 500, and then from the 100, So I take 100 minus 500, negative 400. Now we divide, but make sure it's by negative 100, not just 100. Because to get rid of the times negative 100, you have to divide by negative 100. So when I divide, I got to make sure I punch in negative 400 divided by negative 100. And I got 4. So M equals four months.
Okay, I probably could have done that with the table because three, four, I wouldn't have had very long to go. But heck, hey. Okay, last problem. Thomas has three hundred dollars. He makes fifty dollars per month. Angela has one hundred dollars. She makes two hundred dollars per month. Draw me months where the two people have equal amounts of money. Okay. So again, yesterday we made tables. But the tables aren't going to work. There's going to be a lot of tables today that I'm not. I'll have to go on and on and on and on. We don't want that. Okay. So months, money, months, money. Just going to one and two today. Okay. So Thomas starts with three hundred. Angela starts with one hundred. Then. Time to add. So this guy, every time he works a month, we add 50. Every time Angela works a month, we add 200. So 300 plus 50 is 350. 100 plus 200 is 300. Remember, punch it into the calculator slow. Okay. And then add 50. That's 400. Then add 200. And that's 500. Okay. Okay, so now make your lines. So don't put anything at the top because you don't know where you want to end. That's not the point, okay? I'm not I want to find out when they're the same. So I put 300 plus 50 dot times m dot m. And then we put 100 plus 200 dot m. So when I line up my equation, I look at the first line, put your put a plus, but you're going to put your 50.m first, okay? Because that's how we're used to seeing it. Then over here, we're putting the 200.m first. I'm going to get kind of an ugly looking answer here, but that's okay. Remember, I'm the one who wrote the problem, so... Okay, both sides. So you put, make sure put a plus on that one, and to get rid of it, you minus 200m. Okay. Just because it has a dot, I do it the same way. Okay. So I put take 50 minus 200, negative 150. And then I add 300. And then I add 100, okay? All right, so now you're to the two-step process, okay? So we got to get rid of the plus 300 with minus 300. And then we divide by negative 150. So we're going to minus 300. One hundred minus three hundred, negative two hundred, and then I'm going to divide by negative one fifty, and I'm going to get a very ugly looking answer here. Okay. Yeah, okay. Um, don't put the decimal, just take the one up to two. Okay, again, this isn't, I, I put it for practice, but yeah. Okay. So, 